We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. In this video, I'll take a look at actress Gina Rowlands. She's a four-time Emmy and two-time Golden Globe winner, collaborating with husband John Cassavetes, actor and director in 10 films, including A Woman Under Influence in 1974 and Gloria 1980 both of which earned her nominations for the Academy Award Best Actress. A Woman Under the Influence was a drama also starring Peter Falk. Son, Nick Cassavetes, was also in this. Gloria is a neo-noir crime thriller with Julie Carmen, Buck Henry, John Finnegan, Tom Noonan, and Sonny Landham. Rollins was in Woody Allen's 1988 drama, Another Woman. This cast included Mia Farrow, Ian Holm Blythe Danner, John Houseman, Martha Plimpton, Gene Hackman, and David Ogden Steers. She was in Nick Cassavetes' The Notebook in 2004, a romantic drama with Ryan Gosling, Rachel McAdams, James Garner, Sam Shepard, Joan Allen. So I took a look at Gina Rowlands. I thought she may resemble either Patrick Swayze or Rachel Griffiths. And additionally, I think she may resemble another actor, actress, or group from some movie, TV series, etc. I was not quite sure of. My guess, I believe in some movies, such as Faces, 1968, she may resemble actress Martha Plimpton. For Robert Altman's 1992 Satirical black comedy mystery, The Player. A scene with Tim Robbins and Peter Gallagher having lunch was cut from the movie. Martha Plimpton cameoed in this scene. Likewise, Patrick Swayze's cameo was cut from this. He was filmed doing some martial arts moves. The 1987 drama Shy People starred Martha Plimpton and Barbara Hershey. Patrick's brother, Don Swayze, is also in this cast. All right, connections. Yeah, as I mentioned, Rollins and Plimpton were in Woody Allen's Another Woman. Yeah, I think between Rollins and Swayze, there may be some links through son Nick Cassavetes. For example, the science fiction action film The Wraith. In 1986, Nick Cassavetes was in this along with Charlie Sheen, Cheryl Finn, Randy Quaid, and Clint Howard. Sheen and Swayze were interned together in Red Dawn in 1984, an action drama by John Milius with C. Thomas Howell, Leah Thompson, and Jennifer Grey. For David Lynch's Dune in 1984, the science fiction adaptation of the Frank Herbert novel, Kyle McLaughlin, Patrick Stewart, Brad Dorff, Dean Stockwell, and Max Von Cito led an ensemble cast. Patrick Swayze reportedly considered to play the characters Beast Robin and Fade Rathua. Gina Rollins was among those considered for the part of Lady Jessica. Francesca Onis eventually played this part. Patrick Swayze was in the 1989 action film Roadhouse along with Kelly Lynch and Sam Elliott. Variety reported in 2015, Nick Cassavetes was signed to write and direct a reboot of Roadhouse with fighter and actress Ronda Rousey. This project never came to fruition, but a different team remade Roadhouse. This was released this year, 2024, and included MMA fighter Conor McGregor and Jake Gyllenhaal. All right, connections between Rachel Griffiths and Gina Rollins. Nick Cassavetes was a writer on the 2001 Johnny Depp biographical crime drama, Blow. Directed by Ted Demi with Penelope Cruz, Rachel Griffiths, Paul Rubin, and Jordi Moa. As a bonus in this video, I'll mention the fact that actress Bunty Bailey may also resemble Gina Rollins. But I think in the case of Bailey, who is in the music video of AHA's Take On Me, a combination live action animated 
production. Bailey may in fact resemble Rollins and possibly another actor, actress, or group. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is Easter Egg Guy, that's G U Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.